Hi everybody, welcome to YSCOM Driving and today is a very very good day because we are in a very secret place and we are getting the first view of the Hyundai Kona 1.6 Turbo Now there are two versions of this Kona They have the higher spec model this is called the 1.6 Turbo N-Line. The N-Line is the performance and nicer looking variant of the two. And this one costs only 156,888. The base version is 10,000 ringgit cheaper at 146,888. Now this corner comes with a promise. It is a promise of more fun. And if you are the type of person who likes to drive very fast, maybe this is something you should look at. Because it has an engine with an improved power of 198 PS and 265 newton meters of torque. Now, this makes it potentially one of the most powerful B segment SUVs in the market. So, what it's going to translate to is it's going to be fun to drive. Power is transmitted to only the front wheels, it's front wheel drive version, yeah? Through a 7-speed uh, dual clutch transmission or DCT and with pedal shifters and a very nice suspension, McPherson struts in the front and what they call a coupled torsion beam at the back. This vehicle promises to be fun. I can't wait to take it up, Gunting, man. The end line gets a somewhat different front from the normal 1.6 turbo for starters the grill design is slightly different the material here is different from that of the 1.6 turbo and you get this extra slats there there's actually there's no gap so it, i suppose it's just for decoration and of course you get the side pods here the side pods are different and the bottom Intake is also different from that of the standard 1.6 turbo. Headlights are LED and so are the tail lights. Elsewhere, you get 18 inch wheels, and these are 23545R18, and the cladding is rendered in body color. From the side, the corner looks quite attractive. It is a B-segment compact SUV. Overall length is 4,205 mm. Width is 1.8 meters or 1,800 mm. And height is 1,565 mm. The wheelbase is 2,600 mm. And it falls smack into the category of B-segment. The rear end of the Kona Turbo looks pretty nice. You have this uh, rear spoiler that also helps to act as a sunshade. And we have the unique double layer tail lights plus a rear wiper. And also the, for the end line, the rear bumper is different because it has these extra side pods and also the diffuser at the bottom and of course the tailpipe is a double okay here's looking at the corner from the driver's side before we step into the car you get electrical seats for the driver and these are special leather seats yes it's leather and suede it's like leather here and suede in the center and of course, these are the N-line seats with the N here. And you get also uh, red stitching along the sides. These look very comfortable. Okay, the front passenger seat is also electrically controlled. But uh, unlike the driver's seat, which has 10-way control, this one only has six-way control.
Okay, this is the interior of the Kona 1.6 Turbo. You have a leather wrap steering wheel with controls and of course pedal shifters and also a display audio. I think that's 8 inch and uh, single zone digital aircon controls. Okay, down here you have your drive control. You can control the drive. There are three modes and also the traction another three modes of control these are the seat heaters and this is the heater and this side is the ventilator oh that's nice so you can actually get air coming from your seats to warm you and this is for the driver's side passenger side parking sensors this is your idle stop on and off this is your drink holder and also of course these are the keys yeah and this is the electronic handbrake and auto hold so auto hold is good because when you are stopped anywhere you and you have your brake on if your auto hold is on all you have to do is take your foot off the brake and the car won't move until you next accelerate uh, the digital cluster here is 10.25 inch and this is an 8 inch touch screen 